up everybody welcome back to our channel so for this video it's gonna be a little different i'm actually gonna be going through my everyday skincare routine i actually posted a poll on instagram probably like over a month ago asking you guys if you'd rather see a skincare routine or like an everyday makeup routine a lot of you guys voted for the skincare routine so that's what i'm gonna go through with today just so you guys no, just a heads up, my skincare routine isn't like anything special or anything like that. I use very simple products, natural products. I've tried everything from high end to the lowest and I just it took me the longest time to actually find what works good for my skin. So, just so you guys know, I do have very dry, sensitive skin. Um it used to be combination, but it's weird that it changed now. I'm more on the dry side. My skin isn't like the most horrible skin and I don't want to sit here and brag and be like, oh, I have flawless skin because I don't think I do. So I currently don't have any skin makeup on at the moment. I don't know if this will work for you. You could try it, see how, it, how you guys like it, but I'm just going to go through each product and I'm going to explain how I use it, when I use it, and how it's worked for me. So... Obviously, the first thing uh, when you go through skincare routine is your makeup. So when you have a full face of makeup, you want to obviously remove all the makeup. And the product that I use is the uh, Garnier Micellar Water. So it's this right here. But anyways, I'm sure you guys have heard or know this product. I mean, it's everywhere. A lot of people use it. I used to think it's like, it kind of leaves like an oily residue. I don't know. If if it's just me or if other people get this too I didn't really like it on my skin so I'll explain to you what I used what I like and what I don't like and what I haven't used so I used to use this it was amazing I still use it here and there when I like run out of other products but I use this for pretty much my like face okay for my whole face and then for my eyes I'll use the Elizabeth Arden all gone eye and lip makeup remover and it's for the eyes. I like this especially for mascara because I feel like it really removes the mascara. So after I remove my makeup with the two products that you see here, I go in and I cleanse. Okay, so with my cleansing, I actually use bar soap. So I've tried cleansers. I've tried like literally everything you could possibly think of. I've tried such expensive products that i regret because i spent so much money on them and literally i just i would either break out or they just wouldn't do anything for me so i pushed all of that aside and for the past year i think i've been using like pretty much like i think 95 percent of my skincare is pretty natural like natural products so i dropped all the cleansers and i started using bar soaps this is my favorite brand I don't know. I, I just absolutely love this brand. It's the Cocoa Butter Formula brand. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it or know of it. You could get it from Walmart or like any any store, honestly. Um, it comes with vitamin E. This, I don't know. I absolutely love this brand. I think this brand is the best if you're trying to get rid of blemishes, if you're trying to like even out your skin tone and do all that this is literally palmer's the cocoa butter brand is one of the best brands that i love so i'll use just a bar soap and i'll kind of cleanse my face that way i also have the african black soap i'm sure you guys have heard of this one too this is a really good popular one and then i also got this indian hemp i don't even know i don't even want to pronounce this but i got this one as well this one seems pretty good it comes with neem oil i don't know what neem oil is but anything natural with oils in it i love so it should be good that's what i use for cleansing okay after i cleanse my face with the soap and everything i'll go in with a toner okay oh i forgot my toner so after i finish cleansing i'll go in with a toner and most of you guys already have heard of this i'm sure i'm sure if you guys have seen any other like skincare routine videos a lot of people are so hyped about this witch hazel um this i bought from 
I think it's like just the normal drugstore I got it. This normal witch hazel, make sure it's 100% natural. So I'll literally just grab a cotton pad, I'll pour a little bit on, and then I'll just kind of tone my face with that. I've used so many like toners in the past and every toner is just too harsh for my skin because like I said before, I have very dry and sensitive skin so anything breaks me out. Um, so toners were really like just a no-no for me so that's why I started using natural products. Before Witch Hazel, I was using rose water for the longest time. Rose water is amazing. I absolutely loved it but I just I wanted to switch it up and this I think is like 10 times better so. I've been liking it so far okay so the next thing I do after I tone my face with the witch hazel I kind of let it sit there I let it dry um, after I do that my face gets really really dry even after I cleanse with the with the bar soaps my face literally like I feel like it starts to like crack you know it just gets super dry so I go in with an oil as a moisturizer one that I've been using for the longest time, and I'm gonna hype about this product one more time, is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter brand. You guys, this brand is so amazing. This oil, I don't know if they carry it in the States, but I get it from Canada. I get it from just Walmart in Canada. I haven't seen it here. I don't know if they have it, but I'm sure if you actually like browse around and look for it, you might find it. But uh, this is, again, with vitamin E, and it literally just says right on it, even tone. So it gives you like an even skin tone, complexion, um, it hydrates you, and it literally just, it's amazing. I've been using this for years, for so long, and it works amazing, I absolutely love it. It's like literally my holy grail out of my whole skincare routine. But, I wanted to switch it up again, okay? I feel like my skin just gets bored of like the same old routine, so I wanted to switch it up. I googled the top rated like face oil that won't clog your pores because just an FYI for you guys who are starting off into oils, a lot of them do clog your pores. Coconut oil is one of the biggest ones. Um, I used to use it on my skin, it broke me out so bad, I just stopped. It's good for the body, I feel, but for your face, I wouldn't recommend it. Especially if you have really dry and sensitive skin. So, coconut oil was a big no-no. They say it clogs your pores, it's not really good, you get breakouts, especially if you have sensitive skin. So, stay away from that. But the top rated oil for the face was argan oil. So, I got this argan oil. It's just like 100% argan oil it's the natural product um, rehydration oil so it gives you hydrated and soft skin and it really does give you soft skin I've been using this for a few days now you guys and I absolutely love it but don't get me wrong this is still like up there so that's for the oil so after I put the oil if I feel like my skin is still a little dry I'll go in with moisturizer so I'll let the oil sit for like a few minutes and then I'll go in with a moisturizer one of my favorite moisturizers is the Shiseido. I think it's like Ibuic. I think that's the name of it. I absolutely love it. I feel like when you put it on, it like blurs out your skin. Um, it's amazing, but I ran out. I don't have any right now. So I've been using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This is another really good one too, you guys. I don't know if it's focusing. This is a really good one, you guys. Um... It comes in like a gel form, and as you guys could see, it's pretty much like all done. So I need to go buy that Shiseido one. You guys should really get the Shiseido one if you have dry skin. It's amazing. So I'll just literally go in with like the smallest amount, and I'll just kind of apply it over my oil that I applied. After the moisturizing is done, I'll go in with the Origins Refreshing Eye Cream, the Brightening and Deep Puff one. It's this little orange one right here. This one is amazing, you guys. It's good for dark circles. It's good for hydration. It's honestly good for everything. Um, I've had it for a few months, and it's still, like, pretty full. I have a good amount because you all you need is, like, the smallest amount. It's, like, the smallest little drop. This is a really good one. So I'll do that. And then last but not least, just to kind of top everything off, I will go in with some Mario Badescu. Um, spray so some facial spray this is the one with the lavender in it it's the purple one I honestly like the rose water one more but 
I ran out and this is what I had left so I'll spray this right before I go to bed if I need that extra hydration so that's what I do to kind of top everything off um, so just so you guys know again I don't think I mentioned this but this skincare routine that I mentioned is strictly for the nighttime when I'm removing makeup and going to bed I just I like to cleanse and exfoliate and do all of that oh my god I forgot the freaking you guys, I forgot to mention the cleanser that I use. Let me just get it. Okay, you guys, so I actually forgot to mention like what cleanser I use. I'll use this probably three times a week. I don't use it all the time. My skin is just not meant for harsh products, okay? This is the St. Ives Blackhead Cleanser. This is amazing, you guys. You can get it from Walgreens, from Walmart. If you're in Canada, you get it from shoppers. Just literally any drugstore, you could get this. It's the green tea scrub. Um, it helps clear blackheads and it unclogs pores. Honestly, for a drugstore product, this is really good. Okay, so I like it. And obviously, I'll do that after I take my makeup off. So I'll use this and then I'll go in with the bar soap to give me like an extra like squeaky clean finish and then I'll go in with the oils and everything else that I mentioned. And then one more thing, so if I wanna kinda like top things off, once a week I'll do a mask for my face and I go in with the Sephora Mud Mask. So this one right here, this is amazing. Literally when you put it on, you feel like your skin is just tightening and it's like pulling out all the impurities out of your skin. This is what it looks like, it kinda looks like charcoaly I guess and it has a really strong smell a lot of people don't like the smell but I actually enjoy the smell like it's I like it I don't mind it so it is purifying and mattifying it has zinc and copper and yeah I think it's a pretty decent mask honestly I use it about once or twice a week depending on my skin and how it's doing if it really needs it I'll use it more than that but Usually no more than three times a week, I'd say. Like every other day if you really need it until your skin gets better. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine. Uh, if you guys have any questions or want to know any other products, just leave me a comment down below. I'll answer whatever questions you guys have. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like this video, share it with all your friends, subscribe to our channel. We're trying to grow.